everyone, I'm Katie Pittman, Seed Bank Specialist at the Missouri Botanical Garden. Meg Englehart and myself, along with a dedicated group of volunteers, help run the Seed Bank, which is located here at Shaw Nature Reserve. The main job of the Seed Bank is to collect and prepare seed for long-term storage. I just wanted to give you guys a little behind-the-scenes tour today of how that process works, so let's take a look around. The first step in seed banking? Get some seed. One of our major focuses is collecting from all across Missouri. In the field, we're making sure to record lots of detailed information about location, habitats, taking pictures, as well as herbarium vouchers, which is the sample plant of what we've collected that gets pressed and sent to our herbarium. We also receive collections of rare and endangered species that are sent to us by garden staff from around the world. After we've collected seeds out in the field, they are brought back to the lab where our team takes great care in cleaning and preparing them for long-term storage. We label and put them into cardboard flats to prevent the seeds from getting moldy. They will wait here on the wire rack until they're ready to be cleaned. Here are some of the many tools we use for cleaning seeds. This is the seed blower that uses air to separate seed from chaff. For tiny seed, we use a vibratory separator that removes small debris such as sand. After we clean the seeds, we bring them over to be photographed. We count the seeds either by hand or weighing samples. We measure their water activity, or AW, before and after drying. A sample cup is filled and placed in a water activity meter. Freezing seeds that contain too much water can kill them. We dry the seeds in desiccation boxes containing silica beads. The boxes then go into the refrigerator to dry, which usually takes about two weeks. After we get a final AW and weight, the seeds are put into an envelope and sealed in a foil packet that is labeled with the accession number assigned by the plant records team at the garden. Here are the freezers where we store the seed. They are filed in chronological order inside and are backed up by generators in case of power failure. Here at the seed bank, my main focus is viability testing. So what I do is pull a sample of seeds from the freezers and I see if I can get them to grow. I start by planting the seeds on auger plates, and then I place them into germination chambers, and hopefully this happens. After germination is completed, I dissect them. We want to know if the seeds are being stored properly, or sometimes they're empty inside. This helps us to know if we need to collect more of a certain species. All of these results are then recorded into the garden's living collections management system, which can be accessed online. I want to give a huge thanks to our dedicated group of seed bank volunteers. Really, we could not do it without you guys. And I have some exciting news to share. Currently, we're in the planning stages of building a new seed bank, which will include a walk-in freezer for additional storage, as well as a larger laboratory space. This will give us the opportunity to collaborate with visiting researchers and students, which we look forward to. I want to thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you next time.